Hello, welcome back to some more UEBS with Bros, and we are going to do something we haven't done in a long time. That's right. We are here in the arena. And what we're going to be doing is Pharaoh's Day. Pharaoh's Day games. So we're going to have the mummy units from the new mods that have been made by Stitch. And we're going to pit them all against each other. And see who comes out on top. And the Vector gets to fight the Pharaoh himself. Should be interesting. In our first matchup, we've got the Mummy Peasants. We've got the Mummy Spearmen. We've got Mummy Heavy Spearmen. We've got the... Yeah, these are the Mummy Infantry and then the Mummy Heavy Infantry. In our first round. And we are going to see how... They all do, facing off against each other. As usual, we've got five teams. We've got 300 in each. And, yeah. We're going to divide it up as best we can. We can roughly work out about four rounds. And let's we'll see how we get on. All right. Three, two, one, begin. So here we go, chaos. Reign Supreme. Right away, I can see the peasants' numbers are dropping heavily. The peasants have low health, but they actually do a decent bit of damage. However, the health is not serving them well here. Let me see if I can't just slow this down a touch. So yeah, the peasants are suffering. Spearmen following, followed by the infantry. This looks like heavy infantry versus heavy spearmen. That's a nice wee matchup. Same here, they're fighting the counterparts. That is a lot of pokey sticks. Power to the pokey sticks. The peasants, though, are seriously suffering. They are just about out there, down to about 20 units left. It looks to the men like the heavy spearmen have the upper hand. It's probably their range that's giving them all that extra. All that extra poke. Mummy peasants are now down. I actually have higher faith in them. Yes, they have lower health, but they actually do a decent bit more damage. Mummy Infantry looks like they're going to be following next. They are fighting off against the Heavy Infantry here and the Spearmen here. Meanwhile, though, the Heavy Spearmen looks like they are cleaning up on the Heavy Infantry. The Heavy Spearmen might lose this fight if they don't get reinforcements, which they should. They are pretty damn close. However, the Heavy Infantry pulled ahead here, all right. And they are now coming in the back of the other Infantry. This is not looking good for everybody except the Heavy Spearmen. Who are actually slaughtering right now. This normal Spearmen infantry are about to drop out. They're under 40 each. And... Yeah. That is a pretty close but decisive first round, I feel. The spearmen themselves are out. That just leaves the heavy spearmen over here. Fighting against some of the heavy infantry. The infantry themselves are about to get wiped out here. The last few are fighting. And they are dropping. There we go. It just leaves the heavy infantry versus the heavy spearmen. And well, what we saw over there, it does not end well for the heavy infantry. But maybe we never know. <laughs> Perhaps they can pull it back. Too many. Their range allows way too many of them to attack, I think, and that is likely what gave them the round. And down to the last five, four, three, two, one, and gone. All right. Heavy Spearmans take the first round. I'll see you all again for the next one. All right, here we are with the second round. We've only got four teams in this one. Um, so, we have here, I'm not entirely sure. They are the palace guards. These guys, I'm not sure about. Hmm. I actually don't know just by looking at them. That's awkward. I think these guys are the invokers. I think these guys are... Hang on, let me bring up the thing again. These guys must be the assassins. These guys are the elites. And these are the palace guards. Okay, I think we got there in the end. Not entirely sure still, but 
We'll see with whoever's still standing whether or not it's actually important. However, here we go. Beginning to round two. And fight. Okay, slow things down again. And there is a bit of knockback going on here this time. But that should be okay. The assassins are getting wiped out. They are very lightly armored, so I'm not entirely surprised. And the invokers are trying their best, but... I don't know. I think they have an effect ability. I think that's what they do. But the assassins, wow, just completely eradicated. Palace guards and elites are the only ones still standing with a lot of numbers. The invokers are getting... They're getting wrecked, basically. There's, there's no way to sugarcoat this. And we are more or less down to the palace guards and the elites. What are you guys doing down? You just finishing up? And here we go. Now the elites are actually getting beaten back by the palace guards. Typically in the past the elites have been pretty damn strong. However, they are actually losing out here. Nah, it's a little awkward. <laughs> Yeah, the palace guards are just taking it, just taking it home, that's it, that's, yeah. I really don't see the elites having much of a chance catching up here. Even though they're sort of flanking each other, which is kind of weird, but... UEBS does what UEBS does. Whatever the hell it wants. That is a huge difference. Those palace guards are not to be trifled with. At least the knockback isn't really affecting it much. It's only a tiny knockback. And it really hasn't changed anything because the palace guards are just about to be... Victorious! There we go. Palace guards takes the second round for themselves. Damn. Absolutely lethal. There we go. On to round three. Round th three is going to involve a lot of the stronger units this time around. So let's go check them out. Hello and welcome to round three. You might notice the ring's a little bit full. These guys take up a lot of space. The titans over there, they're going to be missing a dude, but don't worry about it. It shouldn't change things too much. Um, so, yeah... We've got, I'm guessing these are the mummy throwers. We've got, I'm not entirely sure at this point. I think they might be the brutes. I don't remember now. These guys are the titans. And then we got these guys. Hang on, let me get up this thing again. We've got revenant brutes. So these guys are the throwers. These guys are the titans. I'm guessing they're the Brutes. These guys will be the Revenants, and these guys will be the Commanders, I think. But yeah, damn, man. Bit of a size difference there. But they'll be fine, I'm sure of it. Could be a fair bit of knockback at this one. These are all the, the pretty strong units. So, yeah, let's slow it down and begin. And immediately the arena erupts into flying mummies. <laughs> Naturally, like you do. Oh my god. The mummy brutes look like they're suffering the most. The throwers are just having a hell of a time. They throw big boulders, so. Yeah, I would have put them in the ranged round, but. We've already got five guys in there already, so. That's a bit. It'd be a bit much to have six. And these guys are just too strong anyway. I don't even know what to make of this. This is insane, these titans. The knockback is crazy. I don't typically like knockback in the arena, but we will just have to enjoy it for now. Titans, however... No, sorry, the commanders, the clear leader, well, clear leader, they're, they're in the lead by one unit. That's not a huge lead. Throwers are suffering. I don't think we need to slow this one down. They've all got that much health. It's just going to take that long to get done. Oh man, these guys are just being beaten back into the corner. 
what are they supposed to do? The revenants are getting slaughtered. And just like that, okay. So, next up, I guess the drop will be the brutes. I think whether or not these guys can get any hits on these titans, which they are doing, to their credit. They are doing okay. Throwers, however, have just started getting melted. Ouch. As have the brutes. Okay, so... Huh. We're down to the titans and the commanders. Or at least we will be shortly. The brutes, yeah, these guys were the brutes. That was a good guess. They do look cool. Some size of the other sort of middle ground. However, now the real slugging match has begun. <laughs> the Titans with a huge knockback and the commanders with their tiny knockback. The question is who does the most damage? I think the Titans with their extreme range will probably come out on top. And actually it looks like the numbers are swinging that way as well. Like these Titans have just formed a line and they are not letting the commanders get too close. Look at this. They're like lemmings. Every time they come forward, it's getting punted right back again. Now the Titans have lost 10 in total. Actually, they're still losing units, but the commanders just can't get enough hits in. I think we'll see once, once all the, the general health pool drops. Actually, the Titans are pushing forward. They're pushing their line in. That's interesting. If they get them pinned, it is all over. Hey guys. A wee bit of a light spike there. But yeah, they, man, they now control over half of the arena. And they're just pushing them in in a little semicircle. Okay, the commanders actually have a decent bit of knockback. Are they just coming in from the outside of the arena? I'm getting worried, actually. I hope it doesn't knock anybody outside. Man, those commanders, they're almost out, and they're getting pushed in really hard now. There is no escape. And the Titans take it. That is the end of round three. Time for round four and our ranged round.